Who's going to get I think that? that Sorry, but I think that is the fringe benefit of the fact that Champions League games are now on BT Sport and ITV. <laughs> no, ITV no, seriously. Because yeah. otherwise yeah. people say they're off yeah. Man United. It's on BT. It's probably right, yeah. mate. I think I'm the only person in the country who's got BT and I don't even use it for football. We're yeah. getting it. Okay. Um, just quick confirmation. Tinsel Monkey is an anagram of Milton Keynes. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, as Paul. is Lenient Smokey and Eminent Yokes. No, so there you go. You but Tinsel, tinsel Monkey. To be fair, in your yellow Dom shirt, Brando, you look like an eminent yoke tonight. <laughs> there you go. I have got uh, many uh, pseudonyms for the music that I make, but I've got a new one now. Tinsel Monkey. Tinsel yeah. Monkey. Tinsel Monkey. Uh, anyway, thanks for checking, Paul. Uh, right. You are listening to the Mook Out Radio Show um, on Seclo Sounds, and Seclo Sounds exists to bring people and communities, communities together to celebrate all that's best about the city. We produce a variety of music and speech programmes produced by local people, and we're run by over 60 volunteers. There's always room for more so if you've got a program or a skill that you'd like to offer send an email to volunteers at seclosounds.org you can find out more about the show the station and other shows we produce by visiting www.seclosounds.org right what's coming up in the next little bit we have got the latest meeting predictions from those lovely people at forecast we've got me giving you a round up of what's been going on in the forums this week we'll have more from franchise watch and we'll dissect the longer term implications of a frontier gate we probably won't to be fair but we'll see how it goes uh okay contact details get it done quick because behind facebook.com that's slash the moo camp hashtag yeah. the moo camp don't email us uh 07848903396 that'll do should kind of flag up the only reason we do the contact us bit is to get the joke in at the front and at the end the actual contact details are irrelevant but we'll know that next time right. so next time you want to read the joke and not give out any contact details that's exactly that's it yeah, that's all it's for yeah. okay no one listens live anyway so, uh, except for Paul should we read out some tweets do that I've got uh, one here put, hang on go oh sorry I've got one here from Shannon from Pear Tree Bridge and she's texted in to say hi he'll be out between 9 and 10.30 see you as soon as the show's finished you were that's very sweet of her Mark from Bletchley says liking Buenavente looking good so far Dale from MK1 says that's enough about the weight lads I'm losing it albeit slowly and anyway, I've seen Brando, so you really shouldn't be mentioning it. People in glass houses and all that. Cheeky. Blake from the Lake says, It's I'd not been before as I can't stand lower league football. I now can't stand higher league football either. Can you get to the Prem so I can watch Chelsea, please? And look from BBC 3CR, I don't know what that is. He's texted in to say, I know what you did last summer. Excellent, thank you very much. This just in, following an end of our first period at the top of the championship, Club Supremo Andrew, call me Andy Cullen, has wasted no time in finding a way to use the experience to draw in more fans and therefore more cash. And he announced that the upcoming home match against Leeds United will be designated as used to be top of the league, big day out. And that anyone who provided evidence of us having used to be top of the league will be allowed £1.27 off the price of a full adult ticket. Acceptable evidence must be either provided in the flesh by a Sky Sports News presenter or by Manish Bashir himself. More on this once we've tracked down Manish. We're going to gloss over the next bit and come back to it next week. News from the forums. What's happening out there on the interweb? Right, it's a brand new section. It started last week. I'm going to spend my Sunday mornings looking around all the old forums and find out what everyone on them is saying. Right, this week on the Concrete Roundabout, everyone seemed to be quite chuffed with the way Pete and the rest of the board are running the club, apart from one woman poster who goes by the name of Dawn's 50 uh, who that woman seemed to think we were all doomed. There was strange also woman. strange woman. Strange woman. There was also a lot of praise there for the various bars dotted around the stadium. <laughs> it turns out that everyone on Facebook is an idiot. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks. Likewise on Twitter. Okay. Populated by idiots, uh-huh. and nothing happened on the zone. That's cleared that little mystery up then. Okay. Um, Dan, can you let us know what, what we rejected this week? What we didn't have time to talk about? Yes, here's what happens if you press the red button and listen to Moo Camp Extra. Uh, we rejected the idea of a who does Simon Grayson look like on the basis that he's too bland to remember. So we have no idea he looks like, let alone who. We rejected the idea of an anagram competition after an Orient fan picked out Tinsel Monkey as an anagram Milton Keynes won the £5 themselves before Paul could. Obviously. Uh, careful with this one. 
We rejected the idea of spot the ball on the radio for the 17th time. But as you'll know by now, we rejected our rejection and did it anyway, which we didn't. Which so we didn't, yeah. That should be in this bit, although yeah. at the start of the show it shouldn't have, but now it should again. OK, that's cleared that little mystery up. Thank you. That's good. We will be bringing you spot the ball on the radio next week. This was an idea that Models I've been battering around now for three seasons. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually bored enough to want to do it. So we'll, we'll put that in next week. So, um, yeah, that'll be exciting, won't it? Franchise watch. Uh, franchise FC being jammy bleeps as per usual. Go up. If you're not impressing anyone with that language, you should be bloody ashamed of yourself. I remember because I lived in Wimbledon at the time and I hated the idea of MK Dons taking the franchise. Bleeping useless. Bleep Yorkshire bleeps. Couldn't even beat each other. Get in the sea. Get in the sea with the bleeping franchise MK bleeps. Who cares what MK fans think? 90% of them are older than their club and that's not how you spell there that's not how you spell I quite like that though you're older than your club that's a good insight no, that's good, that's good. Yeah. not sure whether it's all the hate they get or what but personally found the MK Don's lot an awful bunch knocked a smile off Robinson's face big headed bleep many thanks Ginge Wimbledon rebranding to MK Don's step them going out of business it's not straightforward though is it I mean the players that were signed to Wimbledon became MK Don's players a team with ambitions and a de- decent stadium I'd swap Brisbane Road for their venue. Mind you, I'd swap most of our team for theirs too. Good to see ambition and investment deliver rewards. Suck on that, MK Franchise FC bleeps. Do you want me to bleep out that word? I'm not sure whether it's acceptable or not. I um, asked. You, like in that case, let's bleep it out. And they said no. Absolute <laughs> bleep end of a club. Uh, just quick one message here from Tracy, who said, oh, "Finally Trace. got to Tracy. This is MK Donet. Try, finally got to listen live, and is suitably impressed. Hashtag might listen again. Oh dear. <laughs> you must, Tracy. You must, must have better things to do with your show life than I've this. Done yet. Yeah. Um, where do we get to? Great result against a lot of people's least favourite team. I'm lost there. Great result. Beat top of the league. Beat top of the league. Unbeaten against fake dons in eight matches. I forgot my morals for a weekend and actually went to MK for the first time. I'm no good at boycotting. It seems that one's from Simon." Bless him, that's very sweet. That was an immense win. Sweeter because I hate that Scouse bleep Robinson. Just shows we should have finished higher than them bleepers. Grayson seems to have the edge over that fat Scouse lady bit lately. I refused to refuse to go to this fixture due to the AFC Wimbledon thing, but went last year and went today. Maybe, just maybe, I'm beginning to move on from the franchise thing. Now he's started coming, now he's been to see us twice in. in, in successive matches yeah might have done Uh, also think it's time we moved on for the franchise thing clubs have moved in the past and it's all been forgotten Arsenal being a prime example history is all about never letting the full facts be conveniently forgotten just to appease those who walked off with the spoils the fact is that the curly haired muppet that runs that club stole a football club from its own community moved it for its own gratification Gratification. (laughs) okay that's brilliant We know how difficult it is to plan ahead without accurate forecasting, so we're proud to support the Bothell Forecast, brought to you by the lovely people at Forecast, telling the future one cup at a time. And the forecast for the week ahead is... Spilt a little, so cup not as full as before. Yes, join me, DJ Darren Hoyt, each and every Wednesday, like clockwork, 9 through to 11pm for the Reggae Takeover. The Reggae Takeover delivers you everything from pure snap, crackle and pop, warm from the vinyl, pure 45, to fresh from the yard tunes, never heard anywhere in the world, trust me. So join me, DJ Darren Hoy, with the Reggae Takeover, live each and every Wednesday, 9 through to 11pm, live on Seclo Sound. Fill your heart with sunshine and enjoy. You're listening to the probably finest show we've ever produced. Um, this is the Mucam Radio Show on Seclo Sounds. And um, to say we're missing modders wouldn't be true, because we're not, whoever the hell he is. A uh, couple of quick things. First of all, Upper Tier Gate as it's been called a few times. Um, does anyone actually care about this now? No, nah, not really. No, I think it's making us look stupid, but it's not my problem. There you go. Okay. Making us look... Do, do you think us putting fans up there makes us look stupid? Or, it or doesn't, discussing the complaint? It doesn't make it a good 
a way day for people to come to because they feel like being screwed and it doesn't make tactical sense because fans tend to be loud around there because they get the off the roof I think it's a stupid idea all round but it doesn't affect me I always like going up in upper tiers I think it's nice so I'm a bit weird but anyway okay uh, right let's just do this This just in. Following last night's victory against Bolton Wanderers, Don's boss, Carl Robbo Crobbo Robinson, has called for Don's fans to not get carried away. Even though the Dons are riding high in third place in the championship, Crobbo urged fans to remain calm and ask them to keep the possibility that we might not get automatic promotion this season at the back of their minds. But he didn't actually say fans. He actually said the real idiots among our fan base. But we reckon that's pretty much one and the same thing. More on this once we've identified a single one of our fans who isn't an idiot. Speak to us. We'll speak to you soon. Maybe we should do Spot the Idiot next week. Spot the Idiot, that'll work. Right, this is our uh, last load of tweets and texts and everything. Right, Camden Paul was tweeted in to say, Sunday afternoon consisting of watching Benick, AJ, Jason and Patrick. One day we'll keep past Sloke Slimey's players. FPL Fly tweets, I'm in Milton Keynes. The amount of people wearing MK Dawn shirts with a phobia on the back is making me chuckle. Neil from Bolton has texted in to say, Damn... Daniel from MK1 is texting to say Daniel run with ball, Daniel gets smiles, Daniel likes smiles, Daniel like ball Dean from MK1 is texting to say I'm quick as I need to be, you don't need pace to kneel over and want a free kick or two Excellent one, I've just had a, a photograph sent to me on Facebook which I think is suggesting that Monkey Planet is back on, but if you could confirm either way I would appreciate that, thank you very much um, OK, look, we've only got a few minutes left. We have two matches coming up between now and when we shall meet again. Well, can I very quickly Daniel, interject? There's something I want to plug. Tell me about the quiz. Oh, now. Yes. Next Thursday, week tomorrow, 27th of August, the MKDSA Quiz Night, hosted by yours truly. It's at the Royal British Legion, Melrose Avenue, Bletchley, 7.30 start. All members and non-members welcome. There is some Don's rated questions as well. So Royal British Legion, next Thursday night, 27th, Don's Quiz Night. Does it cost to do anything? Uh, it's £2 per person to enter. Uh, max team of four, and there are cash prizes on the night. Ooh. Sounds pretty I good. Like cash. Okay, cash is good. Cash is. Are we getting tickets and things, surprises and stuff? As uh, no, no, it's, I it, won't it, ask it, that question. No, no, no it's just fine. a quiz. Turn up, do quiz, have fun, go home. Okay, that sounds pretty good. All right, thanks so much for that. Um, right, Reading Saturday, hands. Hand, oh, hand, yeah, hand, definitely. Yeah, okay. Wait, uh, stop. What? Hey, <laughs> I got it, 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 this is good radio again. Uh, He's showing the tickets. I'm showing my tickets. Ah, just right, right. It's not Monkey Planet. It's tin- it's a tinsel monkey. Tinsel That's monkey. Bit, I've, I had a picture of a tinsel monkey. Tinsel monkey. Planet. Tinsel monkey. Is that the Christmas special? Tinsel monkey planet. That is a Christmas special. Yeah. Okay, uh, Reading. What are we expecting? Quick prediction. I think we'll win this. I don't think we'll win that. I think we're going to win three one. Really? Yeah, I do. I'd I'm say two one. I, I honestly, I said when the fixtures came out, I'd love to see three wins out of five in August. Oh, I'm changing my I prediction we'll then. Two one it was. <laughs> they, were, they, they didn't do all that well last season, did they? Reading a toilet. Yeah. And they've just sold one of their best players to Blackburn. So oh, they're even more they toilet good. now. That shows you what I know about upper. Okay, that's football. good. Nothing. Um, just as an aside, Bristol City spending £9 million on a player, does that terrify you or is that ridiculous or what? If, it, if I was one of their supporters, it would terrify me because that's a bizarre decision to spend that on him. Well, um, they are owned by a billionaire. We are not. So that's probably. Hang on, you're saying Winky isn't a billion. Are you saying he's not got some money behind him? <laughs> I'm a little shocked by not that. Not a billion pounds. Dressed in the way he does, and that hairstyle. Nah, I'm not having that. He oozes money. Uh, that man has he money and charisma. charisma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or he just oozes, Uzi. to be fair. <laughs> 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 All right, um, Tuesday, Cardiff, hands. I've and, not got and. a ticket for that, but I'm getting one. Okay, why well, didn't you get one today? You were there, I you should have done it. I'm an idiot, that's why. Um, yeah, okay, what are we expecting against Cardiff? I reckon we'll win that. No idea, because both teams will play their reserves. No idea who's going to play um, or anything, yeah. It could, could turn out to be a good laugh. It'd be like sort of it's a royal knockout, but with footballers. Okay, look, um, we're reaching the end of the show. Uh, it is, uh, this has been really interesting. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been relatively relaxed at this end. I hope These you've ones had are the fun. Best ones. If you're listening back, um, you wouldn't believe how long it took us to edit this, so it sounded as rough as, rough as this. Um, this doesn't come easy. But uh, thank you. Um, this week's show was written by Stephen Fry with additional help from Jers, Scum Army, Filthy Don, and Nelson Mandela's former best friend. We're going to be back at the same time next week. We hope you will be too. So, uh, I suggest you go and have a really good week. Bye-bye.
MK Pulse proudly sponsors Seclo Sounds. MK Pulse is Milton Keynes' local magazine, bringing helpful information on food, health, fashion, money, travel, culture, and much more to 84,000 people every month. Plus, news, views, and what's on from around the city. If it's happening in Milton Keynes, it's in MK Pulse, and it's available online at www.mkpulse.com.